Welcome to our platform for investor education. My name is S.G. Badrinath. I have been teaching and studying financial markets and equity markets for the last 30 years. To students who are undergraduates or MBAs in both the United States and in India. Over this period of time, I have worn several hats. I have been an investor, almost always. I have been a trader occasionally. I have been a consultant. I have managed money. I have uh, been a scholar who writes papers that unfortunately for me, very few people actually get to read. Uh, <clears throat> at the moment, I hold the Canara Bank Chair of Finance at the Indian Institute of Management in Bangalore. I write about financial markets, but from the point of view of the households. For 20 years, I have written in newspapers, magazines, some television shows, podcasts, radio, digital, social media, workshop, the works, to take my message of financial empowerment to the households. Many of these lessons I've managed to plug back into policy and regulation. But the one thing that my takeaway has been is that every household wants their money to do better, but they simply don't know how. And that's what we hope to crack with this series. I am Monica Hallen. I am consulting editor with Mint and the author of the best-selling book, Let's Talk Money. Monica, continuing along with our conversation about people needing to get their financial houses in order, uh, one of the things that we should be talking about too is life insurance and you know I noticed in India that people love their life insurance they love investing in gold and but then when you look at the amount of money that is put in there the assets under management in the life insurance business is something like 32 trillion rupees 32 with 12 zeros with, behind it which is like a sixth <laughs> or seventh of GDP so, you know, we say Indians don't invest, but they, maybe they, they think of, even if they think of investing, insurance as investing, they're investing in the wrong product, it seems like to me. Absolutely, it is wrong. Uh, you know, are the, are the returns on these things any good? As far as I've studied them, it doesn't look very likely that these numbers are great. Right. But, uh, you know, I, uh, again, like, like with medical insurance for me, I had a, you know, my life insurance cover has come from my employer and yeah. it kind of continues, so I don't think about it. But, you know, if Indians need to think about what this insurance is buying them, you know, are they getting a fair rate of return on this investment or even a rate of return on this even investment? Even a rate of return. No, you're absolutely right. So what is it that it gives you long term? So three crore people, three crore policies are sold every year. New ones. New ones. And then there's the renewals stock. on top. There's a renewal that is going on. So the three crore people buy policies, 32 trillion in that asset under management. And and the returns are really 4% or less. So over the 35 year holding period, what you finally get out of the policy is between 3 to 4%. And the reason If you that, hold it till the end. If you hold it till the end. What if you yeah. took it out early? What happens then? It's, the returns might be negative? Absolutely. You Possibly. lose your principal. So if you take it out earlier than that, uh -huh. so if you take it out within the first two years, three years of your policy start, you get zero back in your traditional plan. So it's a trap. So you start, so that's why it's hard sold so much because the agent walks away with 35 to 40% of your first year premium. As an as upfront an, commission. A commission, which is a legal commission, but illegally under the table, they're getting almost 100%. The first entire premium goes to the agent. The first year's so they premium. Found, they find illegal ways of putting a board on the broker's or the agent's office and paying him a few lakhs for, you know, so they find multiple ways in which to benefit the agent. So there is this whole uh, hard sell of the insurance policy mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the first year pre, uh, commission is so large and people get taken in by the messaging. And so the marketing are, being that this will take care of your loved ones right. after you Correct. die Correct. and all of that kind of stuff. They're pressing the buttons of fear, all the greed and they sell it as a investment product with free insurance. And what is the first rule of finance? Nothing. There is nothing, if there is no free lunch, we there say. There is no free lunch. But yeah. even if they're selling it as an investment product, the returns on these things are like miserable, right? I mean, right. one statistic I read somewhere said that if you put in 50,000 into this policy, after 30 some years, it grows to a f 35 lakhs. Yeah. You put the same thing in like a very 
broad based market index fund which is well diversified some risk but not too much more much more than what the insurance company might be parking those assets into and the returns are the the, the value of that investment is 10 times higher than what you would get out of this policy 4 crore and above so the even the insurance yeah. so the investment component maybe the you're telling me that there is not even that much of an insurance component That's right. if you withdraw early there is definitely not an investment component either that is worth anything That's right and when you are saying there is very little insurance that is true because if you were to buy these endowment plans they give you 10 times of the premium okay as a cover okay. so if your premium is 50000 10 times that it's not going to solve anyone's life insurance needs because what you actually need is 10 times of your annual income you have a rule of thumb right so it says that around 10 times of your annual income so if you are doing 10 lakhs times that is a crore Now you try yeah. buying a crore of endowment, and the premium will be larger than your annual income, because you know these are at the bulk. Prices. So, so look at the premium as a price. Mm-hmm. Are, yeah. You know, yeah. it's yeah. a Which price of a financial product. What is this price buying you? It's buying you an investment, and it's buying you a protection, life protection. So, mm-hmm. if you separate the two d- d- decisions of investment and insurance, then you clearly see what you have. So, as we've talked uh, so far. Uh, buying term life insurance policies and investing in the difference helps you create a safety net for your family and lets you deploy the rest of your assets for investment purposes towards wealth creation we are not going anywhere come back and catch up with this series again